Hello everybody. So today we're going to be reviewing Tarmac Works BMW M3. This is not just one regular M3. This is Emmanuel Piro's BMW M3 that won the Macau Gear race in 1991. This is a 164 scale model die cast and it comes in this very colorful sleeve so let's check it out right here you can see linings of the car with its logo same with the back and right on top you can see the specific name of the car and the scale and right on front you can see the brandings last is the bottom which is just more details this diecast, just like most of Tarmac's products, comes in a display case and the platform actually has brandings over here and info about the car itself. And that's actually pretty neat in my opinion. So here it is taken out of the display case. And now let's take a closer look in each of its parts. Let me just say, they did a great job with the front. Like a really great job. You can see here the sponsors at the bumper. They also did a great job with the grill. The details and everything. And right below the grill is, I guess, Chinese characters. And the only thing I dislike about the front is the fact that the headlights are not as symmetrical I don't know if it's just me but I don't think they're that even now I have a few issues with the hood such as these white spots over here I think that's a painting error and as well as beside the number six you can see like a skid mark over here but aside from that I think the hood still looks very great. I really like the windshield because they added this tiny windshield wiper over there. And they also did a great job with the roof. Now the rims on this car looks very great. It's very detailed. And the only downsides is that it doesn't roll and it doesn't have much detail on the wheel. The back only has a few things going around with it, such as more sponsors, a BMW emblem, and the tail lights, which look very good in this three-tone color. Now what disappoints me is the exhaust pipe, because they didn't even make it silver, they just like slap it on there or something. Last is the interior. The interior has a roll cage and they both come in this bright red color. This is a right hand drive and it has Recaro bucket seats. And it also has this crazy detailed seat belt on there. And lastly it has this silver shifter. Overall, aside from that exhaust pipe that was quite exhausted. Tarmac did a great job with this casting as well as its paint job. They really captured Emmanuel Piro's entry very well. And aside from that, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, boy!